on. Can I just say how clean these cows look? They probably look cleaner than some of the bathrooms I've seen at amusement parks. There you go. Anyways, we're here at the New York State Fair. There's some uh, cows being judged right now here in the dairy building. Uh, not as many cows nearly as they normally have. That cow. We have cows. Look at all these beautiful cows. All these different places here. That cow seems to be enjoying himself yep. a lot. He's like, mm -hmm. <laughs> Looks like they, they're getting ready to hand out the, the award winning prize. Congratulations. You know, baby Alright, let's keep walking around. Well, we're outside now. This is going to be a very bare bones fair year. Isn't this where my, my spirit animal was last time? Who's your spirit animal? Good. Oh, the wavy, wacky, wavy, I inflatable tube guy? Right I'm not sure. Not sure. Turkey leg. -like. Turkey leg -like sounds kind of good. Coco deck, a lot of yeah. If you're if you don't drink, if you don't drink like we do, then uh, there's only half the fare is good for you. And when the fare is already half what it is anyways, that means we're stuck in a quarter of the fare being good for us. But uh, we have to wear masks inside, so we'll probably have them down our chin most of this time. But we'll look around a little bit. Definitely not as busy. I mean, this is just full of vendors usually through here, but. So I think we'll uh, take a right here and see what food's down here. And Here's the milk bar. You get your quarter of Yeah, milk. get your quarter glass of milk. <laughs> Frozen custard. Uh, well, we're in the uh, dairy building now. And uh, you can see they have the butter sculpture over there. We'll take a look at that. That's where you get your 25 cent milk, I believe, up front somewhere. They have some ice cream and whatnot over here. Let's take a look at these ice cream flavors. Here, why don't you push him around? Those ice cream flavors there. I'm looking for a pumpkin ice cream. I get it every year. Ani says on the other side. New York State cheese. Here's some cheese. This is not the place for us. There's Perry's ice cream. You get some Belgian waffles. Let's go look at the butter sculpture. Normally, in order to see the butter sculpture, there's like a mass crowd of people. You have to like punch people and kick people and tell them that you have COVID, but not this year. You can just walk right up and get a good look at the, the butter sculpture. Check this out. I'm, wow, this is the best, best view you're ever gonna get. There it is. school sports and play sculpture this year. You see those kids playing on a little Nintendo Switch, a little laptop. These little girls here drinking milk and playing some soccer. That girl's literally holding New York State in her hand. Congratulations to her. Big accomplishment. And then you got on the other side here, you got a couple people uh, eating some fruits and veggies. And look, that one's wearing a mask. Signs of the Times. Signs of the Times. He's about to ask this girl out on a date. She doesn't have very good posture. You should probably move on. Well, they're made out of butter, so I think they should all move on. <laughs> there you go. There's your look at the butter sculpture. Pretty cool. Well, we've already got food. We've been here for probably less than five minutes, and uh, we saw a raspberry eclair. I figured that's what it was, raspberry. Oh, no. Oh, I, I, sorry, I said Claire, yeah, sorry, a raspberry cannoli, my bad. Leave the gun, take the cannolis. Well, is it dark chocolate on the outside or just regular chocolate? She doesn't know. It's good. It's good? Want a bite? Uh, sure, I'll take a bite. Mmm, very good. That's a 
good cannoli. I really like that raspberry flavor. I feel like we don't get to see that very often because it's always so crowded in here. So, I feel like we're trying something new. I'd give you some of this. You can't have some. Of course, and don't worry, we'll find food for you soon. Love you. <laughs> All right. Uh, no, you can finish it. The Sterling Creek General Store. You can buy huge jawbreakers, taffy, and cheese. Look at all the cheese you can buy here. Look at that. That is that's from Ben. Yeah, that, I love pepperoni. A little pepperoni popsicle. Jacksonville. Johnsonville. Yeah, you can get that at uh, Wegmans, but cool. And giant pickles. Nice. But the uh, pumpkin custard, my heart desires, is over here. So that's what I'm gonna go get at the Colossal Sunday Center, pumpkin custard, get it every year. Yes, please. So, what do you have here? Pumpkin custard, get it every year we've come to the fair since we've And it's a been one married. size, it doesn't come in any size but that size. It's just a soft serve, pumpkin custard. It's so good, it's and good. I would have it if it wasn't for the fact that I'm dairy free, even though I just had that cannoli. Uh, maybe you should give me a lick. Whoa! Whoa, whoa. Oh, yum! What just oh. happened here? Let's see if Orson likes it. Mm, yes. Orson, you want a little taste of some pumpkin custard? Oh, oh well now it's on your sleeve. <laughs> Here. Yum. You want a little, this little taste? Do you eat that? No? No, maybe right, if you maybe. had a spoon it would be different. Yeah, probably so. Oh well, more for me. <laughs> <laughs> That's so good. It is. Such good spice. Not overly pumpkin-y, but you can taste all the... I can taste nutmeg yeah. and cinnamon. It's, it's like straight up pumpkin pie. My best pumpkin custard I've ever had. It's here at New York State Fair. Even better than Pete's? Peter's? Whatever the heck that is? I'd have to compare probably yeah, soon after. Peter's is good, although I've only had it at Carol's, I think. I don't think that at Peter's. No, you had the probably. you had the maple and pumpkin. Yeah, that's good too, but this, I, I still can rank this up there, probably is the best. Alrighty. Yep. Well, we're standing outside this uh, little booth now called Oh My Darling. I have not seen this here at the fair before, but I could be wrong. And uh, we're going to be trying some chicken and waffles, shrimp and grits, and then we're going to order those sweet potato fries with maple aioli. I'm slightly nervous. I've never had grits before. So, I don't know if you like them or not, but it'll be interesting to see what the combination tastes like with the, the shrimp. So it should be good, but first time experiencing this. I don't remember seeing Oh My Darling at all the fair. Uh, food looks good, looks nice, so we'll give it a try and let you know how, how it tastes. What do you think, buddy? What does Little Bear think? <laughs> it's all over your face. It is so yummy and cold. It's just, you have to kind of hand him the food for him to enjoy it. You getting a brain freeze? Yummy, yummy. <laughs> Yum. Is it good? No. <laughs> Get out of here. Well, the shrimp and grits are here, and look at those. They're like cheesy grits. They smell stinking delicious. Yeah, that's coming off of that. Looks good. Well, we got our other food coming here too, so I'll probably wait a minute and see. I think there's there it like is. Tomatoes. Sweet fries are up. Go ahead, grab them. Sounds good to me. There's those sweet fries with this the uh, maple aioli. Freshly made. Looks good. Well, we can sit down right over here and wait for the shrimp and waffles or the uh, waffle sandwich, chicken waffle, to come out. So we'll take uh, a taste of these, see how they are. Okay. All right. Well, I think you should start with the shrimp and grits just yeah. in case it's awful. You never know. How many does has never had grits before? Uh, I've had them. I'm not a big Do you fan saw of the grits. Knife? Uh, I don't know where I put all this silverware. It's right. over there, yeah. There you go. Okay. I don't know yeah. where, or, I've had grits before, it's not my favorite thing in the world. But we'll see how Honey feels about this. It definitely has the, we think it's gonna have a cheesy, spicy, 
kind of uh, taste to it, but... Yeah, there's like peppers in here. Yeah, there's a pepper right there. All right. Bon appetit. Bon appetit. Oh, my darling. Mm. Thoughts, comments, concerns, snide remarks. That's good. With the grits? Yeah. Here, let me try just the grits. I don't mind that at all. There you it's go. It's got a very um, southern taste. Well, grits, grits is definitely a southern dish. Well, I mean like a, like almost a New Orleans kind of... Like a gumbo? Almost. Mm-hmm. Very good. All right. That's good. All right. Sounds good. Let's move on to the, our next product of the day. Ben's trying to figure out how to get everything together yes. and eat it all together. The waffle's pretty well done. It's got a little bit of this, we think it's this maple aioli on there. I got some chicken over here. You gotta get the pickle with it. It's a big piece of chicken. Chicken looks good though. And I gotta get a pickle. I'm just gonna grab it with my hands here. Alright, there we go. That's all in one bite. Prepare a black paging Mr. Morrow montage. Are you ready? <laughs> oh, there's a crunch there. a big bite he doesn't know how to talk the only thing I wish is that the waffle was a little it's pretty crisp I wish it was a little bit uh, I kind of had a little chew to it just a little bit yeah because um, everything else is just so crispy but that's the best chicken waffles I've ever had oh really that's delicious I might have to take a bite of that chicken I guess you will all right I'll let you uh, give it a taste Tony's turn now we <laughs> have the perfect bite Waffle, maple aioli, chicken, pickle. Oh, my hair. You can do this. Okay. We all believe in you. It's a lot. He's jealous. He wants some chicken. Well, thoughts? Mm-hmm. 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 That maple, that maple aioli is great. And that's what we have with our sweet potato fries, which is our last thing we have to try. Just sweet potato fries with maple aioli. So, should be delicious no matter what. But, uh, yeah. I would give All My Darling a thumbs up. If uh, you're seeing this video and you haven't been at the fair and it's still going on, or even if you're in the Syracuse area, you probably have their own restaurant, definitely give All My Darling a, uh, a shot. I think we'll probably have to visit them away from the fair at some point and see uh, how the food tastes, but yeah. two thumbs up. This is their first year at the fair. We asked, it's their first year, so. And they, have a, they gave us a coupon. Yeah, we got a coupon and everything, so very good. All right, we're gonna eat those, so you guys gotta go away. Bye. Well, we're about to head into this horticulture building here. This is usually chock full of vendors. The maple place is still there, yes. And what you will see is that uh, pretty empty. <laughs> Pretty empty. Oh no, Aoni has been sucked into the Pampered Chef scam. The pyramid, the pyramid scheme known as the Pampered Chef. Here we are. Alright, we've made it past the Pampered Chef pyramid scheme and now we're just walking through. Yeah, normally it's like shoulder to shoulder in here. There's some more vendors over here to the left, but normally all of this area would be filled with uh, 4-H exhibits or vendors. You know what they do sell sometimes at the fair? What? Mattresses. That's in the other building. Yeah, I know, but I'm saying, yeah. well, get a chance. We always stop, we always stop at the maple, oh, the New York maple, so every nice. year. I always love to get myself a maple coffee, and I love to get, oh, they have a maple milkshake. Oh, ah. We need to get a maple milkshake. Ah, that sounds good. They also have maple tea, they also have a maple chino. Look at the, look at the menu up here. Check milk out this menu. Milk, what? A maple chino. Yeah, I got the sweet tea one time and I wasn't sure about it, but I think I would like it again. Well, they also have you maple also, tea hot or brewed. They have a maple slushy. You had a maple cotton candy last time. That was good. I don't think we I'll get a maple, maple cotton candy again. We got but. the maple scone. Yes, and I've gotten the maple uh, ice cream cone before as well. Not as good as the, uh, the uh, what would you call it? The pumpkin custard, but still pretty good. 
They also have maple sweet tea, which we said, well, that's a maple lemonade. Oh wait, come over here. Here, go over, go straight. Keep going straight, keep going straight. Keep going, keep going, keep going. All right, look here to the right. Look at the back side of the... Okay, so the maple chino. Yeah, it's like a, sl it's like a looks like a slushy almost. Yeah. So that's the maple it's like a, instead of like a frappuccino, it's a maple chino. Yeah. I might get the maple chino. You might need to. I think I'm gonna get the maple chino. Okay, that, that way sounds you good don't to get me. Like a stomachache because you already had custard. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I probably still will, but it sounds good to me. I think I'm gonna do the sweet tea again just because I right. need something fresh. Okay. And All cold. right. We have a plan. Sounds good. Are you good. gonna get anything else? Do they have maple donuts? Or... Uh, let me check on the other side. Okay. So no maple donuts this year, but here's the maple cotton candy in all of its glory. I don't know, every time I see it though, I'm like, man, maybe I should. On the way out, on the way out. I don't want to carry it around because well, it'll get hot and messy. Well, that's the thing. I feel like it's weird because I feel like I should be refreshed by it, but because it's maple, I feel like it's hot on my tongue. So I'm like, yeah, yeah. yeah. So we'll get that on the way out. So anyway, there you go. Cool maple. Hey, thanks. <laughs> All right, we'll get this uh, maple chino and you're getting the maple sweet tea or? Maple sweet tea. All right, very good. We'll let you know how it is. All right, Aoni has the uh, maple, her maple tea here. Uh, unfortunately, the maple chino machine is not frozen yet, and the maple slushy is having the same problem. Same machine, so they're having, having a problem. So he's gonna give me a maple milkshake. So my choice has kind of been decided for me. So we're living on the edge here at the Great New York State Fair. But you might have to use the bathroom eventually. That's all right. I, I've already mapped out uh, where all the bathrooms are from the oh, multiple years wait, I've been here. So Play Doh stand. We should go check that out eventually. I'm sure we will. Yeah, we'll get our drinks and then we'll walk over to where some of the vendors are. But yeah, this this whole area here, everything back here. Yep. It's empty. Yep. Why don't you give your tea a sip and let's uh, see. Oh yeah. Anyway. See how it is? Delicious. I can't taste the maple. Mm -hmm. I'll up the dad again. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah, I have a down under here somewhere. Thanks so much. Yep. Appreciate okay. it. Thanks for being flexible. Oh no problem. All right, there's our maple milkshake. So, how is the the tea? Oh, he did. Look at the look at the difference between the two. But you know what? I'm okay with that. This is really good. Is it? All right. I can barely taste the maple, but it's like it's uh, super refreshing. All right. So unfortunately, our friend of the maple stand struggling a little bit, but that's okay. Oh, just that guy. She also had to yell the information to him. Oh, true. But anyway, so you got maple lemonade. Mm -hmm. So it's good. Mm -hmm. All right. So an A plus for maple lemonade, and uh, I'll give the milkshake a try. You ready? No. Mm. Milkshake, milkshake. Wow, it is thick. You might need a spoon. You gonna want me to go get you a spoon? <laughs> they should get those like those big straws that they have at uh, you know the Korean place. From what I can taste, it's good. Good, good. Well, we found ourselves over here at this spruce. It's a cold brew coffee with milk. And, but it's uh, lactose-free. Lactose free. High caffeine. Oh. High caffeine. Best of luck to you. Oh, okay. Here we go. Just a little shot. You'll be okay. Thoughts, comments, concerns? It's creamy and good. Creamy and good. It's creamy and good, she says. There you go. You so there it is. No, no. Spruce. Delicious. So as we're walking through here, just to express you, this, this whole section through here would have been filled with tables for 4-H stuff for plants and everything and even other vendors. I mean, this, this little walkway here, it would have been very narrow. It would have been like almost a one-way walkway. And uh, yeah, just completely empty, but it kind of nice because it allows us to get a chance to look at maybe some of the other vendors we wouldn't normally have a chance to sort of uh, visit with. Uh, it's not so busy, but definitely missing kind of just the overall busyness of uh, the fair. But if we come across anything interesting, we'll make sure we uh, let you know and we'll check it out with you. Looks like Aoni's checking out some plants here. Master Gardener, Cornell Cooperative. My mom gave us this. Yeah. Corabels? Yeah. But we have a big plant of it. We just transplanted it. And this side over here is where they have the butterfly exhibit. 
You can walk in there and catch butterflies. We did that a couple years ago. It's a good time. Back down, eat New York ironweed. It grows tall. That's my yard. Oh, wow. Holy moly. <laughs> Are these all your garden or no? Okay, all right. Well, I don't even continue to chat with this guy, but cool. Here at the Every Life Matters booth, Syracuse Right to Life Association. You may have different beliefs yourself, but we believe in life, pro life for sure, especially with this little guy. Come on, free baby. Oh, here we are. So, yes, we support life. Normally, in here, they have a giant sand sculpture, but you can see. There is no sand sculpture here this year. What's up? What are you doing? Hi, right on the board. Uh, you have to tell them your dream job. Well, I'm going to tell them my dream job. Oh, okay. Well, I'm just going to tell them her dream job. And here is where normally, they, again, they have the big sand sculpture, but the sand sculpture is not there. A lot of emptiness here at the New York State Fair. It's good and bad. It's good because you, you like not having to run into all these people, and so that's kind of nice. But at the same time, it's bad because you sort of feel it's just not quite the fair. But anyway, Annie's going to write now on the Tell Us Your Dream Job board. Someone wants to be Elsa. Someone wants to be Ninja. Have a couple nurses up there. Someone wants to be a retiree. Congratulations. Engineer. Best selling author. Radio host. Pediatric dentist. Pixar animator, phlebotomist, E N T H U S I A S T. Roller coaster enthusiast. That's what Annie wants to be when she grows up. Is a roller coaster enthusiast. Orson just wants to get out and run around. I know, buddy. I know. This is always one of our favorite booths to visit while we're here at the fair. We have all of these pop figures and other things. Look at the chase. Look at all the chases up there. So many chases. There's a Jack Torrance chase. I sold that one. Look at all the pop figures galore. This is always, again, a lot of good for collectibles and that kind of thing. So if you're into that and you're here at the fair, check it out for sure. But very, very cool. Look at this Joker here, only at Target. Amazing. Look at all the banners they have up here, but I wanted to show you the best booth of the fair. Toe rings. Custom fit toe rings. You want a toe ring? No. Annie says no. Well, I'm going to get a toe ring. I'm going to get a toe ring, I think. That was Annie when she was like eight. <laughs> Uh, oh well, bamboo bedding sheets and pillows. Don't fall for it. Keep walking. Don't even look at it. They'll get you. They'll tell you. Look, this person's selling a whole bunch of old movies over here. It's pretty cool. And you get your dog treats. And look at the leaf filler. Hello. Hey, how's it going? You? Good. How are you doing? Leaf filler. Yeah, say hello. Doing? Say hello to YouTube. Oh, YouTube. Very yeah, say nice. hi. There you go. You guys. Have a good day, guys. <laughs> this is tranquil. I like this little waterfall here. There you go. No, not a clue, but now I'm going to buy leaf filler just because he was so nice. All right, I think that wraps up our uh, looking at most stuff here. There's not a lot this year, like I said, booths are limited, but still, uh, you know, worth walking in and checking out, seeing if anything catches your fancy. Did want to see, uh, we were walking by this, I did want to show this off to you here. This is the Own Your Own Arcade, since we are an arcade channel. They have some machines they always have for sale, so if you're interested. Purchasing some arcade machines, whether it's old ones, they have some uh, newer ones, I believe, as well. Some where you just plug them in, and a variety of games, but pretty cool. Own your own arcade. This is the Chevy Court area. This is where you get your, I believe, all free concerts that they they have. Yes, you're you're paying for the admission into the fair. We actually were given free tickets to the fair by someone from church who got them through their jobs, so we're grateful to them for that, even though the tickets themselves, I think it's like three bucks, so not like it's expensive, but got a guy up there, I think, playing music, if that's what you call it. 
I'm not sure what he's doing. Maybe he's just testing music. But anyway, so yeah, they have some pretty good concerts if you're interested that you can uh, get into from here. Or if you don't want to sit, you can just uh, can literally just walk around and still hear the music. Ah, yes, there's the other building. We're missing one building to go into, and there it'd be. That's true, you're right. The news, normally there's like four or five different news stations. Oh, there is one. I see CNY Central over there. But normally you have uh, uh, CNY Central, I believe. Maybe Tommy's over there. Maybe Tommy Sladek is here. Our friend Tommy Sladek. He probably won't remember us. Nah, probably not. Tommy, he, he got a promotion. He's like moved up in the company now. I so. remember one time we saw him do like serious news the one time. We were like, Tommy? <laughs> he was filling in. He was filling in the evening news, and we only know Tommy from uh, the fair, and he's the sports guy. But now, yeah, he does the sports stuff for CNY Central, I believe. It was uh, really funny though because he was like really nervous. You yeah, could you could tell. You could tell he was a little bit nervous. But like, oh, poor Tommy. <laughs> now nah, he's he's a good guy. Uh, but yeah, he's doing sports regularly for CNY Central, so cool. it was funny when we watched the clip afterwards for our uh, arcade section, people walked right in front of the camera when they're doing a live shot when he was doing a little like monologue thing, and you could tell he was a little frustrated and <laughs> like, flustered. yeah, flustered by that, so, oh well, that's what happens here at the New York State Fair, but there you go, like, that's CNY Central, Tommy Sladek. Well, the last building is the science and industry building. Again, typically this is full of uh, quite a bit of stuff. This is less vendors and more organizations. So you can see Office of Mental Health, Office of Children and Family Services. So a lot of New York State Fair, or excuse me, New York State uh, government organization type things. Um, so yeah, wait, we didn't get to the, maybe this is the building where they have that little play show. Yeah, it's over there. Alright, so it is in this the building, fire. so, but yeah, typically this is packed full of stuff. There's the Baldwin Fund, the Baldwins from Skinny Atlas area in New York. The Baldwin's mother won't leave because she loves Wegmans. But, Hi. Yeah, Alec Baldwin's mom, you know, the Baldwin brothers, the actors, their mom lives in New York and she won't leave because she loves Wegmans too much. So you can go to Pennsylvania and get it. Yeah, I know, but she just loves Wegmans. Oh, jeez. Got a little New York State police officer. Little booth here, some cool looking stuff. I mean, if you want to get into the military, sweetheart. Me? Why would I want to get in the military? I don't know. I'm just saying. <laughs> I don't want to go in the military. Please. You don't want to be a chaplain? No, I, I did at one point in my life, but that, that bridge crossed, or I crossed that bridge. I'm not sure which way to look at it, but <laughs> I think bridge, that stage of my that life bridge, is over. Bridge that, burn. <laughs> that stage of my life is over now. If it was going to happen, I would have done it. I didn't. So now I'm here at the Great New York State Fair. I have a kid. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh boy. All right. Let's journey oh, you can forward. Wear a kilt. No, get out of here. Look at that. No. It looks so good in no. that. Uh, yes, here it is. Safety cinema, fire safety education. Normally they have all sorts of puppets and everything. It looks like they have their next show at 3.30, so I think they're probably done for the day for all their like puppet shows, but it's kind of a fun area. Here you have the House of Hazards. I don't know that we've ever, we've ever been in the House of Hazards. I wonder if it's free to get in. I think so. Well, I'm gonna see if I can walk in. About a kitchen, a kitchen fire. No, we're going over to fire safety. Left the stove on. So, what do you see wrong with my stove here? Uh, you know, like plastic on it. Yep, we got stuff on it that's combustible. It's not plugged in. So, that's, yeah. I'm not going to be able to cook anything. <laughs> So you should never use your stove for storage, whether it be in the oven or on the top. Ha! I told you! See? Oh, that's why my air fryer <laughs> That's why my house burned down. <laughs> you should never use your stove for storage. What do you actually do? Oh, no. So, what's wrong with my pot? 
the handle's the facing the towards you. Yep. The little boy can get to that. Yep. Uh, so she always has a pet handle the side, whether it be either way. So you're cooking on the stove. Whether it be gas or electric, doesn't matter. And whatever you're cooking catches fire. What's the first thing you want to do? Come on, nine one one. No. Or you take, you turn off the heat. Yep. First thing you want to do? Turn the stove off. That way you're taking the heat, so it doesn't get any bigger than it already is. And it either put itself out or not grow anymore. Now, if you had something like bacon or oil that you're cooking, and that catches fire. What's the number one thing we never do? Pour water on it. Yep, never put water on it. The water and the grease don't mix. Makes a big fireball. Covers the kitchen and you with grease and fire. Makes it look like back there. Oh. That's almost as you the s'more as the other day. What? No. So, the way we put out a grease fire is, obviously you turn it off first. You take the top of that pot of hand. Come in at a 45 degree angle, so you're pushing any fire away from you. I put the top on to smother it. There you go. See, I didn't know that. I think I would have freaked out and just poured water on it, even though I know not to pour water on it. I'm glad we came to the fair. <laughs> you also have your trees. can't put any more t-shirts on the lamp. <laughs> right, yes. You also have your trees are big fire has right now. Yeah, they but have their candles down there. Oh, I see. Yeah, that's not good. It's not good. Yeah, having a iron right there would not be good. Don't have your clothes on the lamp. Also not good. Broken things. You have a home fire escape plan showing you how to escape fire from a home. Look at that kid. He's going to be so knowledgeable. It's going to be great. And then here we have a fire extinguisher training. But that's temporarily closed. Oh, pretty cool. I'm glad we came through. Look, a little pen for Ben to uh, chew through. Thank you. Thank you. I do have a chewing problem on pens and pencils and things of that sort. Here's a pro tip for New York State Fair. Hidden bathrooms back here in case you got to go. Do you have to go? Nope, but it would be safe to go because the firefighter is right there in case you fall off the toilet. Nope. Very nice. Hey, look, the dairy building. You know what's in the dairy building? Pumpkin custard! Oh! Downey is against these uh, non stationary coasters. By that, I mean ones that they can pack up and they travel and they move all over the country with the, with the fair and whatnot. But she is on the Super Cyclone because she wants the credit this year. So there's a decent line, so she's going to be riding and a couple more turns. So we'll have to wait a little bit for that. So Orsa and I might walk around here a little bit, but we'll show you this train of cars going here on the Super Cyclone. It's kind of just like a mousetrap sort of uh, coaster. Nothing too special. Pretty decent drop right there. Going around. Oh, that, that looks... Oh, that looks rough. Oh, Aoni knows it's not going to be a very thrilling coaster or anything, but she has this new... I mean, she's she's always loved coasters since she's like getting credits, but she is... I think she's really eager to get as many credits now as she can on coasters. So she's gonna take this one while she can. Super Cyclone. There it is as they go around. Oh yeah, it looks and sounds rough and old, but she's moving up pretty well, so we'll see her thoughts when she comes back. Well, I only survived the Cyclone coaster, and somebody has a new number one favorite coaster. It's not Aoni, but... <laughs> Uh, Not the little kid that they kicked off of it either. Yep. It was about uh, as much as you could expect from a fair coaster, but Aoni's in it. Watch out for this car. Aoni's in it for the credit, which she got. But we're headed home. Horson's had a long day here in the stroller. I don't really want him to walk around too much here because of the, uh, even though it wasn't as many people still, the amount of people and fear of someone trying to snag him. So we're going to go home. We uh, got some. Order pizza? We got some lemonade. I have a free pizza from Domino's for my birthday coming up, so I got to use that coupon. Because they don't care about married people; they only care about people who are born. Well, apparently, they don't care about that either. But that's another spot for another time. They don't care about me. We got some lemonade, which is pretty good. Orson's been sipping and enjoying that. You can see there. Yeah, the doctor's probably gonna be like, "What?" <laughs> uh, so yeah, overall. Pretty good experience at the fair. Definitely, like we've said before, a kind of a dialed back experience. But honestly, I I don't mind it. Yeah, I don't mind it for the lower the lower crowds. 
Yeah, it's just starting to get crazy. Yeah, if it's uh, getting, you know, nighttime, dinner time, you could say. And uh, people are filling in to get some food for the night. And we're headed out. You want to play with Legos tonight? And he says if I want to play with Legos tonight. I actually have to, have to clean up my office a little bit. Well, that's why I'm playing with Legos. Uh, yeah. Clean up your office. Yeah, sure. Since it is technically your Lego set for some reason that I'm building. You're very kind. Although you built that one Lego set and then all of a sudden you've been like, more Legos. No, I'm trying to get your stuff done. Oh, is that what it is? That's what it is. You I'm say so. I'm trying to get it built for you so that it's built and done. Huh. And we can take the box and get it out of your office and get it out of the top of the house. Huh. H, where's H? Can you see H? You're taller. Huh. Anyway, so, good time. Good time, good time. Thanks for watching. Leave a like if you want, I don't really care. Subscribe if you want. <laughs> <laughs> we should probably redo this ending. <laughs> Subscribe if you'd like to. I don't really care either. Watch out. Truck coming. We care about that. Comment if you care. Oh no, we're losing the rhino. But anyway, have a good one. We love all of you. Some more than others. No, don't say that. <laughs> Just, Man, Just kidding. We love you. We love all of you equally. Well, but some of you we love equally as much as others. Wait, hold on. Where are we? I think we're okay, in Syracuse. Alright, there's eight, so we're a little bit up. Anyways, we hope that we'll find oh, our car. Dust. All we are is dust in the wind. I can smell the lake, that's what it is. How many can smell the lake? Now he's gonna wait for this dust cloud to go away. And eventually we'll find our way back home. So anyway, thanks for watching. Give a like, comment, and subscribe. And just in Bye. case any of you guys were curious, I am wearing a firefighter hat. Yeah, you should show them. Yeah, I think I am. I've never held the camera like this. It's not a good vlogging camera, but pretty cool, huh? Did we pull through or did we get through? Yeah. What are we doing here? Anyway, <laughs> thanks for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe if you care, because I don't. <laughs> just kidding. Love you all. Equally. That's us. Look, it's us. For sure? Yeah. Is there a car seat? Yeah, that's us. Yay! Cool. Found us. Now we can go home and sleep, sleep well. well. Well, unless the kid wakes up in the middle of the night, then you know. So you'll sleep well. Huh? So I'll sleep Wait. well. All right. Okay. All that stuff I said about not caring is not true. Love you all. Bye. Awesome.